it's uh, making a lot of money for people and it's not necessary. I'm always getting people off their hundreds of dollars worth of su supplements, which I folate, because I've talked about it in my book, it was invented in the 1940s. We don't need folate. Folate equals B12. If you eat meat, you will not need fo folate, but now they're testing mm -hmm. for it. So there are things that people are perpetuating, the system is perpetuating to make you think you need when you don't. Vitamin D is an animal fat. All fat soluble vitamins, the way it's supposed to work is we're supposed to synthesize it from the fat we eat. If you don't eat fat, yeah, there you won't have any, you'll have to supplement, but why, why not eat fat? Eat a high fat carnivore diet. If you have adequate thyroid function, that vitamin D synthesis works just fine. And K and all the other fat soluble. I can't use sunscreen. So I'm on the water in the morning and I actually even got, my daughter bought me some tallow uh, sunscreen. And even that gave me, I only put it on my nose because the rest of me doesn't seem to need it. And that didn't work. I got pimples. So now I'm looking, I look like a fool because I have this silicone thing on my nose and glasses to hold it and a hat. So when I get out like 500 meters, I put it on. My youngest daughter said, I'm not going anywhere with you. And I said, you don't have to be on the water with me. I'm I'm, a, I'm 1K out. Nobody notices. But I have no, my skin is great. And I don't have to use anything. The question people always have, do I need fiber for improving gut health? Short chain fatty acid no. production. Robotics. No. No, none of it. Nothing. You don't need it. If you are, if you have adequate thyroid function, you'll eat. I mean, I don't want you to eat fiber. I want you to eat meat and fat because that's how we evolved to eat. We don't need fiber to, we don't need fiber. We don't need fiber. If you're constipated, it's because you're hypothyroid. The, the microbiome is, uh, the carnivore microbiome is completely different from the sell you a ton of supplement microbiome. So the whole microbiome thing came from some studies done on African adolescents in the 80s. It doesn't matter that we don't have have a huge, uh, um, a huge variety of bacteria. We should only have the ones that we were we evolved as humans to have, and that's the carnivore microbiome. So basically, people who have, I mean, we did not evolve to eat fruit and vegetables or dairy. So of course, it's causing problems. It's not. It's mm -hmm. not the lack of these um, species. Your microbiome changes in two weeks when you go carnivore. And then all that's left, left, you may have some die off. You may have some bloating because those vegetable eating ones die. But the ones that are supposed to be there for meat and um, fat are just fine. The peptide is actually an enzyme that regulates the species in your, micro in your intestines, right? The bacterial species, the bacterial population. And that is regulated by thyroid hormone.